how to create amazing multicolored images with any image in Affinity Photo. Open an image, go to the layer, make certain it's selected, go to filters, and then go down to colors and procedural texture. Go to the panel for the procedural texture and you've got plus in the center. Just click that three times. Then just go to the equations and fill that with R, the next one, G, and the next one, B. So that puts it back to as before. And you can see you've got red and green and blue channels. These are the channels. You can also modify this one. You can put OSC and then SYN bracket around that R. And then you've got a nice color effect already. Then OSC SYN around the G. And also OSC SYN around the B. We can modify that even more, but you need some custom inputs. So just go down here to the R and click that three times. And add A, B and C and set the values side, maybe for 10 and seven. You can vary it, you don't have to use these ones. And maybe 12. So once you've done that, then go up here, again back to the R, and instead of R, you can now put R times A. And straight away you get this really extreme color. And then go to G and put times B, and then B times C. So once you've done that, you can now see you've got this extreme color effect. You can modify the parameters here, but you can also save the preset. So just go up here, create preset. And I'm just gonna call it color one. And I'm gonna save it to channel adjustments and click create. You can now use it with any other image as well. So I'm just gonna to go to another image. I've got this image, just undo. Simply go to filters. And again, down to colors and procedural texture. Once you've got that, you've got the presets. So you can just go through the presets and you can go down to channel adjustments and you can see color one. Select that and straight away, you've got your color effect. And again, you can still modify these. Click apply. You can also use fade. You can find that in the layer menu and fade procedural texture. And then you can use various blending modes. So normal, darken, linear burn, add, etc and click apply. Please check out my other videos on the procedural texture filter. I've got hundreds and hundreds of great equations that you can use to create all kinds of designs. Also, please check out my Affinity Photo videos. I've got over a thousand now about Affinity Photo, how to use it in all kinds of ways. Also designer as well. Any questions, please leave in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much, bye.